Hi there, welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of unique homes and showcase stories of people living alternatively. Most of the van build outs that we see are modern, sleek, and even high tech. But today we're showcasing a very special van tour that has a cozy cabin-like vibe. And the owners, Carol and Austin, are pretty enthusiastic about it. One of my biggest concerns with van life is the bathroom. If you like videos like this one where we showcase amazing builds, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know every single time we publish a new tour. I'm Carol and I'm Austin and this is our van. It is a 2020 Dodge Ram Promaster 3500 159 inch wheelbase extended edition. We bought this in was it March? March. March of 20. the year of our Lord 2020 <laughs> and we built it out. It took us about two months to build. We were getting ready to buy a house and we decided that we wanted to do van life instead, uh, which works really well for our lifestyle. I'm a musician. <laughs> and I design and make jewelry out of here. Out of this, this bad boy. Come take a look. Welcome to our van. Priority, not priority one, but something that was incredibly important to both of us. Where am I gonna store all of our clothes? Exhibit A. <laughs> Exhibit A. I mean, look at this. We've got sequins, sweaters, coats. But yeah, it's so much space here. Closet. Woo. Oh, and it smells good. It's cedar lined. Cedar lined closet. It smells really, really nice in here. So the clothes always are fresh. Next. Oh, latches. So things don't fly open as we're driving. Here we have. Plenty of space. These drawers are huge. All of our necessities. Kitchen, we got obviously our Widow Jane flask. They're cool things. <laughs> this is our intimate, so I'm gonna leave this one closed. Delicates. <laughs> Delicates. And then something that was also very important to us as we have a ton of boots we needed. Boot storage. And so we both have what, like four pairs a piece, slippers, sandals. That's the furnace. Oh yeah, furnace. Our kitchen, we have a really large stainless steel sink. And here's our water pump switch. So it's easy to flip that on. Water pressure. It's great. It's a, uh, one of these things, you know. An extending sink faucet. Thanks camera man. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool too because it flips around so you can have it outside. Yeah. Oh, hand, hand soap right here. It's great. See, I can. Ooh, wasted, but proof. <laughs> here we have filtered water. It's awesome. It's deep. It's deep. It's, it's the perfect size. And then on our counter, we did butcher block. We have our three burner gas stove. Here we have our oven with a little blue light switch. We made a full Thanksgiving dinner in here. Here is where we store plates, bowls, glasses, coffee mugs. We do pour over so we have all that stuff here and it's conveniently placed next to the person who sleeps right here. So just roll over, make a cup of coffee for the person over there or for yourself. And we also keep our little remote control light thing and this changes colors. Want to see? Got red, which we don't use, but it's there. Green. Pink. So behind this barn door with a latch right here to keep it closed as we're driving is the shower and the restroom. It was one of my biggest concerns with van life is the bathroom situation. But funny enough, it's made me an absolute bathroom snub because even when we're in places, I come out to the van to use our bathroom. Our Toilet is a airhead. Airhead. Basically, it separates the liquids and the solids, and it's so easy to clean. It's not gross. There's zero smell. Yeah, I'm a bathroom snob because of this. We have shower door here. Privacy. Yeah. 
see. <laughs> this is all copper and it's aging so beautifully. I think it's just gonna get better and better as the years go on as copper does. Here we have our laundry chute, which is super cool. Where else are you gonna put your laundry in a van? You don't want it laying out. And it's tossed right in there, it has its own little space. So down here, we've got our 120 volt AC fridge. I think I said that right. Anyway, this is just a normal uh, plug-in fridge that you would see in, oh no. <laughs> And then right above it, we have our refrigerator with all of our guilty pleasures, like our Reese's Thins and Frozen Gushers. So yeah. And also her. conveniently placed next to the person. Right next to the bed. Same thing right there. So we just took a regular old queen size mattress and put it in our van and it actually fit. So we didn't have to sacrifice anything in the sleep department. The good thing about ProMasters is they're the widest vans that you can buy for build outs like this. I'm six feet. Carol is five, five, ten, ten. five, nine and a half. Uh, we sleep very comfortably, fully stretched out. Uh, we don't have to be all curled up like you do in some other vans. We didn't have to get additional pop outs for the side of the van. It's just all built into a ProMaster. I'll show you how I get up on the bed. We've got this little step down here. Pop right up into it. We don't always wear our shoes in bed. We never wear our shoes in bed. But when you do, make sure it's cowboy boots. We have this little shelf that pops out right here. We've got a little stand, kickstand that sits underneath it. We put our projector up here. And then on this end, our projector screen where we can watch all of our programs. This is our kind of his and hers additional clothing storage. It's another closet, essentially. Same on both sides. Same on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> AKA don't open yours. <laughs> and then to our right here, we have our thermostat that controls our propane furnace. Uh, we can set that automatically uh, on a timer or whatever you want to do and it keeps things nice and toasty in here on the cooler evenings if you know what, what i'm saying oh what are you saying <laughs> when it gets cold you can turn on the furnace <laughs> so this is our skylight you can pop this thing open like that look at the stars at night it also has this sunshade that closes like that to keep things not so bright and then also, total blackout for sleeping in. Right here behind the driver's side seat, we've got uh, a little guest seat with our buffalo painting and our American flag. It's a comfy seat, huh? It is comfy. A little cubby hole. hole. Shout out to all the cubby hole kids. I like to put my knees up and my back against this one. You have your own little space there. I can't do that there. for sure. You could do it. Okay. Definitely. Try. Right. <laughs> I promise it's comfortable. Right underneath here we've got more storage, which uh, at the current time holds all of our dog rangers uh, blankets and toys and treats and all of that kind of stuff. If you close that, down here we've got a drawer that pulls out to food and water bowls for your little traveling companions. Whenever we bought this van, it was originally just a cargo van. It was a white shell there was nothing on the inside we did the entire build out ourselves we ended up ordering all of our windows that are behind the front cabin from a company called van windows direct this one is the slider door uh, window which is amazing for when you're cooking you can open up the glass and the screen is still covering protecting you from the bugs and all that kind of stuff and then you turn on the fan it creates a nice vortex of wind that blows through here and gets all the smoke and all that stuff out for when Somebody might be burning the dinner. <laughs> I tend to burn things. Anyway, um, <laughs> you can also slide the screen open and you can stick your head out here. What would you like to, to eat? Can I interest you in an ice cream cone? We have gushers, frozen gushers. Would you like some candy? Oh no, don't say that. <laughs> This is the back of the van. We've got a ladder to go up to the roof deck and then what you're about to see is our garage area. As you can see, there's so much space for all kinds of stuff. Um, but we're gonna talk about this side of the garage. This is basically the electrical brain 
of the situation. Right here we've got 170 amp hour lithium Renogy battery. Right above that is a 120 volt breaker box. Behind it we have a 30 amp transfer switch which switches from the battery bank to shore power whenever you're plugged in shore power. We've also got the rover charge controller. To its left is the 12 volt breaker box. Behind it, we have a 2000 watt inverter, which takes the solar power and all of the power that's gathered from driving and transfers it into clean 120 volt power. We also have two light switches. That's for this light. That's for this Ooh. light. On this side, we've got the tankless propane water heater, which is great for things like showers, doing hot water dishes. Hot water dishes? What is that? What's a hot water dish? Like soup? I don't know. Anyway, this thing is awesome. Uh, endless hot water. Speaking of water, all the way in back, we've got a 42 gallon fresh water tank, which is great. We go like, what, two weeks? Yeah. Using water for things like drinking, showers, dishes, anything like that. Underneath our van, we have a 15 gallon gray water tank, which uh, the drain from the shower and the drain from the sink in front both collect into the middle of the van and then run into this tank which is run on a switch where the laundry chute is and you can switch that to open up the gray tank and let all the water out. Right above the switch we have our fresh water gauge and our gray water gauge that shows us how full or empty either one is. This is the roof! This is the roof. It's awesome. Truly, there's so much space. You, you can fit like one, two, three, four, Comfortably five, fit like six, six people up here. Yeah. We've got 300 watts of solar. We've had so many times up here. We have, we spend all of our time up here. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So there you have it. That's our van. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and, and watching the tour. Uh, our van is actually for sale. So you can check the link in the description. Uh, we're selling this one. We're going to get another one and build that one out for kind of more tailored to our future plans that we have in mind, which more to come on that. But uh, yeah, this one's for sale. So if you like what you saw, uh, check out the link in the description. We'll have all the details in the listing down below. And uh, if you have any other questions, we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have.